Hey everyone, it's Nancy. Um, I got a ton, ton, ton of requests in regards to um, doing tutorial on how I created the other tile that I showed, the Osborne tile. And um, the technique really is, I've seen, I think, Rach do it. Um, but I got the idea from the Tim Holtz Compendium 2 book. Um, he calls it Riveted Patchwork. It's here. Um, when he does it, he uses uh, the alcohol inks to cover it, but to colorize that, you can see probably here the finished product, but I did that with the first one that I did. I just did a small piece, you know, a tag just to try it out. And I really liked it, but I wanted um, more of a grungy feel, I guess. And I needed to do it on a large scale. And that would take a lot of alcohol ink. So I decided to do like a the black wash over it. So um, just to talk about a couple of the things that I used before I take you into the video of making this. I did record, I'd say about 90%, but like when I was covering the tile, in the foil. I didn't record all of that because it's kind of tedious and boring and I didn't want to, you know, make you sit through that part. So, um, as far as for the alphabets that I use, I use the large, the Tim Holtz alphabets. Um, they used to sell these at Michael's. I'm not sure if they still do, but I think you can get this at Tuesday morning. I think they were finding these. I really don't remember. I don't have one of those stores here. Um, I also use the quick cuts, the metal sheets. These are 6x12. And I cut these down into smaller pieces. I had people ask me, well, can't you use plumber's tape? You can. However, um, this metal is a little thicker. So when I am embossing and going around the pieces, it doesn't tear. Um, when I used the plumber's tape, it was tearing. When I used the one with Ranger, it tore, the one by Ranger, it tore a lot. So, you know, it's just going to be your preference, what you have. Um, this was hard to find. I actually went to five stores um, before I finally found more of this. So, but there is a tape, <clears throat> you know, the full tape that you can use by plumbers or um, one that I have which I don't know if you'll be able to see the brand here, but this is for um, heating and air. This isn't a plumber's tape. So it's almost as thick as the Quick Cuts one. So if you can find this, then you can use this. I did try it on some of this and it did work. So, but you know, if you have plumber's tape or you know, have access to it or whatever, use what you have, use what you can find, just make it work for you. A couple of the other tools that I used are of course the paper blending stumps. Um, I have several different sizes of these. Um, the little ones are easy to get in smaller places. Um, I use this tool a little bit. Um, I think this is American Crafts for rub-ons. And I use this one. This one I mainly use this part, not the nib part. I use this for some smoothing. I also use small brayer and the other tools I use which for metalworking make life a lot easier is this set right here. Um, this is by Walnut Hollow. I got this at Joann's. Um, it has all the different little pieces that you can put on these, the little styluses um, to put different patterns and textures or whatever if you want in that. So this is a really handy tool and it comes with another blending stump. And to be honest, this runs like $30. I've seen it at Joann's and Hobby Lobby. But I got this on clearance for $5.97 I think a few weeks ago. So check your Joann's and see. You can also buy these. Um, you know, if you don't want the whole set, you can get these, and I think these were on clearance, I think, for $2.97. So it gives you three options per package, and these are different than what's in the other one, so that's why I went ahead and got them. So, but, um, 
you can use die cuts. Um, there's burlap under here. There's that sequin rem remnants in here. There's a Sizzix die cut. There's the Tim Holtz deers. There's a dragonfly metal piece. There's a key, Tim Holtz clock, gears. Whatever you can use under here, under the foil. With the die cuts, if you use a really thick chipboard, it re leaves a really nice impression. If you're using just like um, cardstock, you might want to do a couple of layers together and then put them down. So yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, I recorded most of the making of this. And I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Thank you.